Sustainability is a topic that has been talked about a lot, especially for the past one or two years. But what exactly is sustainability? Well, sustainability can be described as meeting our own needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. And what does being sustainable have to do with this? Being sustainable means living a lifestyle that attempts to reduce the use of Earth's natural resources. And although this is a good thing, what's the problem with being sustainable? Using the engineering design process, I found that being sustainable is expensive and not accessible to a lot of people. These two problems have one thing similar in between them, and that is the fact that it's very common with people from small or local communities. And this brings us to our project description. So as an engineer, we need to find a problem that is close to our local community and analyze the real issue that is still occurring without any real action that could be the final solution. So through this project, we, we will be able to propose an idea that could be used as a solution to solve the problem. So our focus question is, are you solving the right problem? And again, using the engineering design process, I found two possible solutions for this problem. The first one being making modern sustainable products more accessible for the community. With the solution, the community will be able to use a more sustainable product than the one that they are currently using. But the negative side of this is the fact that it will take a long time for companies to open access of their products to local communities, especially rural areas. And even if the products are available, a lot of them are expensive as companies do use a lot of effort to make it sustainable, such as producing it ethically and using alternative resources that doesn't harm the environment. The second solution is teaching the community on how to be sustainable with the resources that they currently have. So with the solution, the community will be educated on how to participate in living a sustainable lifestyle even if they are not using modern sustainable products, such as reusing their cheap uh, plastic bags for a long time. Plastic bags itself are not considered as sustainable, but the act of reusing it multiple times is. So the negative side of this solution is that some of the community members could possibly ignore the teaching and continue with their non-sustainable lifestyle. So based on all of this information provided, the proposed solution is to is teaching the community on how to be sustainable with the resources that they currently have. And in order to educate the community effectively, we need to teach them verbally and show them how to do it visually, which will help them understand much better because they can see it actually um, working, like physically. And alongside that, using personal experience on how we change into a more sustainable lifestyle with the current resources that they have will let them know that it's possible to do and it's possible to change their lifestyle. Being patient when educating them is also important as their mindset will not change instantly after only being educated once. And lastly, being a role model for them that they can look up to because if they see us having and living a sustainable lifestyle with the resources that they have and use, they could possibly think Oh, if they can do it, then I can do it too. So these are the sustainable development goals that I use, which are number 11, sustainable cities and communities, along with number 12, responsible consumption and production. And that's it for my presentation and thank you very much for listening.